Alright, I'm going to show you how to make a fake virus. This is a very simple technique to use. Uh, let me quit out of Steam for a second. Okay, go down to your start menu and go up to notepad. If you don't have notepad right up in your already to do list, just go to all programs, scroll down to accessories, and then notepad should be within your accessories folder. So once you click on notepad, you'll have an untitled notepad. Okay, here's the code to type yo know, x equals msg box no spaces in between that and then you do a space you open parentheses and quote starting quotations and you type your message here like this and you surround that with quotations so you just put another quotation at the end and then a comma and the 1 plus 16 I'll get to that in just a minute but you want to do commas around that and then quotations and then you type your title and put another quotation after your title and close your, par uh, your parentheses okay so what you want to do here is I'm just gonna type a small message uh, have fun with this virus okay and then I'm going to type the title the title is where you see the untitled notepad on this notepad window the title will be up to the, up where that is on the window of the virus and have a nice day is the title so the 1 plus 16 the 1 is the number you put I'm going to put 4 the, no, the 1 is the number you put whenever you whenever you want to change the look of it of the window see I have directions here and you can write any number from 1, 2, or 3 one, 1 to 4 and or 0 before the plus symbol so if you put 0 is the OK button put 1 is the OK and cancel 2 is the abort, retry, ignore 3 yes, no, cancel button 4 yes and no button Okay, so I put 4 on mine, so I'm going to have a yes and no button only. Okay, the 16, the significance of the 16 is the icon. So you can put different numbers between from 16 to 32 to 48 to 64, and it will have a different icon depending on the number you put. So let's say you put 32, you'll get the help icon, 48, warning, 64, information icon. Okay, one important thing to remember is to add dot vbs after the name of your file or it will not work I'm not exactly sure what it stands for but I know that it will not work if you do not do that so let's go up to our thing I'm gonna put 48 and go up to file and down to save as okay now pick a destination I have a folder called new ideas put the file type as all files instead of text document and as you can see I have other viruses as well so give it a name I'm gonna name it have a nice day and remember to put dot v b s v, v is in Victor B is in boy s is in Sam and click the save button you can exit on a notepad after that go to your destination folder I have it right on my desktop just double click on that okay now find your virus here right click on the virus and go down to create shortcut and this is the shortcut you're going to use on your desktop or it will not work you have to have a the, the master copy in a folder and the shortcut on your desktop so let's X out of this move that and now what you want to do is you want to right click on your shortcut and go down to rename so click rename and name it whatever you want I usually have it to where I can name it pretty 
pretty convincing where someone would actually click on it. So something clever. So you want to right click on it again after you rename it and go down to properties. Here you have the properties window. Okay. There's your virus. Properties window of the virus. You go down to the change icon button. Click on it. And here you have a variety of icons you can choose from. You, they're default for the type of program that you use. If you use Windows 7 like I have, then these are the default icons. If you want to, if you have other icons on your computer and you want to browse, then you can go up to the browse button and search for it if you know where they are. But I'm just going to mess with the ones that are already provided. So let's search for. I saw one at the very beginning that I want. Uh, the star. Here we go. Click OK and click Apply. And once you click Apply, right there is your icon. That's what it's gonna what it's gonna look like. So once you click Apply, as you can see, the icon has just changed. Okay. So hit OK and test out your virus your fake virus and see if it works and it works here there's the title the icon the message and the buttons thank you for watching